A decade ago, most of Big Pharma stepped back from RNA interference. The science was sound, gene silencing was real, but the risks were high. Delivery was unreliable. Early trials raised serious safety concerns, including some early patient deaths. The promise was enormous, but the tools weren't ready. And for big companies built on scale and certainty, stepping back was the rational move. A few small players stayed in. They worked both sides of the problem, the genetic science behind RNA interference and the delivery engineering needed to make it work safely inside the body. RNAi is something our cells use naturally, but turning it into reliable therapy took years of focused, disciplined work. First they solved delivery to the liver, then they reached farther, lung, brain, adipose. Platform by platform, Galnac, Trim, Falcon, DISC, and others. They expanded where RNAi can reach and ultimately what RNAi can do. And now Big Pharma is back. Novartis, GSK, Takeda, Abvi, Biogen, Amgen, Sarepta. They're not experimenting. They're partnering, acquiring, investing. Because many of the hard problems have been solved. RNAi didn't fail. It matured. And the companies that did the hard work now hold the keys to its future.